Hello everyone, my name is James Spencer and I'm new to Christianity.com. By way of introduction, I've been married since uh, 1999 to my high school sweetheart. I have three biological children ranging in age from 14 to 17, as well as a two and a half year old foster daughter we're planning to adopt. Academically, uh, I earned my Master of Arts in Biblical Exegesis from Wheaton College in 2005 and my PhD in Theological Studies with an emphasis in Old Testament from Trinity Evangelical Divinity School in 2012. I'm currently president of the D.L. Moody Center, and I host Useful to God, a weekly podcast and radio program. You know, as I've had the opportunity to do more writing, I found it challenging to cover an entire topic in 1,000 or 1,500 words. There's always more to say. And while I strive to do justice to the topics I cover, I recognize, as Aldous Huxley once wrote, quote, abbreviation is a necessary evil, and the abbreviator's business is to make the best of a job which, though intrinsically bad, is still better than nothing. He must learn to simplify, but not to the point of falsification, end quote. And so in my writing, my goal is always to be a good abbreviator. And as such, my pieces aren't intended to be the final word on a given topic. Rather, they are intended to challenge all of God's people, including myself, to remember that because God is living and active in the world today, Christians always have the freedom to obey God, even when doing so means leaving the pressing issues we might want to address in God's hands. You know, we have to trust that God can do more than we can ask or think, as we depend on Him rather than on our own wit and wisdom. And I hope you find this initial piece on the culture war and how Christians might approach some of the difficult issues of the day, both encouraging and thought-provoking. Some of the key ideas I hope I've conveyed in this short piece are as follows. Number one, Christians aren't responsible for fixing the world, but for living faithfully in a world so broken, only God can fix it. Number two, faithfulness does not drive us to isolate ourselves from the world, but to navigate the world's dangers so that we can proclaim the gospel as we love God with all we are and have and love our neighbors as ourselves. Number three, we need to consider how our words and deeds in the world hinder us from being all things to all people that we might save some. And number four, Christians must take care to avoid an ends justifies the means sort of mentality because the way we achieve or fail to achieve a given outcome is as important, if not more, than the outcome itself. You know, as God's people, all of us need to be learning to deny the world and follow Jesus so that we can point a broken world to Christ. That will often mean that we need to subject our assumptions to the scriptures and allow God to reshape our hearts and minds for his glory. Happy reading. Blessings.